on Ness. But this is a character that everybody kind of laughed at at the start of the game, but is really starting to come to fruition as a legitimate threat in the metagame now. By the way, my boy USC Gimmick, if you're watching this, hello and shoutouts to you, the me brawler pioneer legend. That aside though here, we're going to see a lot of damage dealt by both players in the first 20 seconds of the match, over 100% combined. And here we go, this is what I was talking about, the shot puts, they're just going to take that stock immediately, HLB looking on fire right now. Oh man, and he went for the cheese, he didn't need to do that. It just feels to me like PSI guy has a distinct lack of knee brawler experience. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but it just feels like HLB is just choosing these uncanny options that are just confusing him and making him, putting him in these difficult positions as Ness. That is going to connect and that is going to take the stock though. That's two out of the four stocks taken in this game so far, taken by Uppies. What, the, these characters both have such silly upbees. This is just an incredibly silly matchup. We are seeing a last dock situation here because of that PK Thunder and because of that suicide kill earlier from HLB. My mistake, by the way, that's actually three out of the four stocks taken by upbees, including HLB taking his own life. And PSI guy looks like he can absolutely bring this back, but me brawler, me brawler, not exactly the greatest character with. I don't think that's gonna. Oh, it did. Okay, never mind then. HLB, what a what a silly game one that was. Oh, I don't need to see that. Get that off of my screen. The Mii's name being very apt to describe that game one. That was just what even happened there. But the real question is. What did PSI guy learn from that game one, and how is he going to be able to adapt to that in the coming game, or can he? Is that stuff that HLB hit him with just stuff that is really difficult for Ness to deal with, like those shot puts and that up B off stage? I don't know, but it just seemed to me like HLB managed to get those very early, dare I say, cheesy KOs that really helped him earn that quick victory. Quick last stock victory, but still a quick victory nonetheless. PSI guy now starting off strong in this game too, but he's going to be off stage. We are going to see the up B. I had a feeling he would go for that, but wasn't going to get him anything, unfortunately, for him. Getting just the first hit of dash attack, and now he's in a troublesome spot. That PK fire is just too much startup lag to be useful in that situation. We are going to see a shot put. PSI guy avoiding it, but this is where he's forced to use that PK Thunder, and now he is going to pay the ultimate price. HLB wouldn't surprise me if he's played against Nessus before. We do have Lumbre in our region here. We have PSI guy, of course, and we have plenty of other Ness players, so I, I can't really say the same about me, Brawler, even though we do also have Leo D Hockey, and that is another incredibly solid me brawler player taken sets out of multiple powering players here so me brawler actually maybe not as rare as you would think in this region i feel like there's very few if any characters that are just flat out unrepresented in socal gonna get the me brawler off stage but that PK Thunder is gonna put her right back on. Now HLB what an incredible display of patience and confidence in that down smash and that is gonna be crucial as now guess what can happen he can get off he can get Ness off stage and that up B it's just gonna end the game no matter what. HLB I don't know if he's gonna want to go for that or if he's just gonna try and do things the old-fashioned way because that seems to be what he's doing right now and until that yo-yo it was working out very well for him I think that I don't know how the upbeat kill works who dies first or anything like that but I do believe that options off the table right now probably not gonna matter though PSI guy with the excellent recovery avoiding those shot puts but what can he do now how is he gonna keep himself alive in this game HLB staling that upbeat I don't know how much that's gonna matter 
but it's not going to matter at all. Apparently, the PK Thunder PSI guy is finding himself in a very bizarre position off stage, and that's going to be a solid 2-0 for HLB. Both games going to last stock, but it just seemed like HLB was just doing his thing, and PSI guy just wasn't ready for all those crazy options. 